Hello everybody and welcome back to Creation Myths. I have a very short Creation Myth to cover today. Obviously I'm not recording in my normal location, so we'll keep this as short as possible. Uh, and hopefully I'll be back in my normal studio soon. Today we are going to cover the Creation Myth that creationists claim that prior to recent discoveries having to do with the human genome and genomics in general, biologists thought that all non-coding DNA was junk DNA. Now, a little bit of background for this. There's a lot going into this that is not what we're going to talk about here. So creationists in general tend to claim that junk DNA either isn't a thing at all or is a very small portion of the human genome. Now that's wrong, but that's not today's topic. So we're not gonna go into all of that background today. If you want uh, detailed information on why junk DNA is real and the human genome is mostly junk, I encourage you to check out this recent book by Lawrence Moran, What's in Your Genome? 90% of your genome is junk. Dr. Moran also recently did a show with Dr. Zach Hancock on Zach's YouTube channel. Zach is a friend of this channel, so you should check out his channel, Talk Pop Gen, and in particular for this topic, uh, his conversation with Dr. Moran, which is linked down below. These arguments that creationists make with junk DNA are kind of a bank shot. It's not really a direct argument that they're making, but the idea is that if you have a genome that is designed, that would predict little or no junk DNA. So according to creationists, because genomes were created, you, we should expect to see high levels of function in the human genome. That's the argument they're making. Now again, that's beyond the point for today. We're gonna to talk about something kind of attached to that because when creationists make this argument, they tend to get a whole lot of other very basic things wrong. So the creationist claim that we are going to address today is this. The claim is that biologists used to think that all non-protein coding DNA is junk. And I'm going to show you just a couple of examples of this that recently appeared on the YouTube channel for Discovery Institute. The first is going to be a short from Dr. Jonathan Wells. Take a look at this. Evolutionary thinking, that is Darwinian thinking, gave us the notion of junk DNA. We know that only 2% of our DNA encodes proteins. And for a long time, many biologists thought the other 98% was junk. And the second is going to be a very young Dr. Douglas Axe. So take a look at this one. This is uh, evidence not only of them making the claim, but also that they've been doing so for a very long time. So check out this clip. A very small fraction of the genome actually encodes proteins. That was the one aspect of genomes that we understood well, is that they encode proteins. So they assumed all the rest of it um, is junk. Okay, so there's the claim, the idea that prior to modern findings, biologists thought that all of the non-protein coding DNA in the human genome, like 98% of the genome, was junk DNA. So let's talk about why this is wrong. Turns out it's a really easy one. This is wrong because of basic history. Basically, there are known functional non-coding DNA elements, parts of the human genome that don't code for proteins, but have known functions that were discovered before the term junk DNA was defined in the scientific literature. For example, in 1958, we have this publication, which is reporting the discovery of tRNA genes and tRNAs, which are transcribed, expressed DNA that is not subsequently translated into proteins. But clearly, tRNAs are functional. That was reported in 1958. The term junk DNA was first defined in the scientific literature in 1972. Now, obviously, the term defined in 1972 cannot refer to all non-coding DNA not having a function, because at that point, we had already known for over a decade of non-protein coding DNA that has specific biological functions. So the term junk DNA, as defined in 1972, has never in its history referred to all non-protein coding DNA. So in summary, creationists claim that biologists used to think that all non-protein coding DNA was functionless junk DNA. This is nonsensical because we knew about functional non-protein coding sequences before the term junk DNA was defined in the peer-reviewed literature. And as I just showed you, there's over a decade between the discovery of 
functional non-protein coding DNA and the definition of junk DNA in the scientific literature. So when creationists are make this claim, it's very simple. They are lying to you. So did biologists used to think that all non-coding DNA was junk DNA? No, that is a creation myth. And now you know why. Thank you for watching. Please do all of the algorithm friendly things with this short video. So hit the like button, leave a comment, share it. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and don't get fooled.